Over the past 10 years, user experience design has taken off as one of the top tech professions of the decade. Now, this is because design has continuously proven to have such a huge effect on the success or failure of products and services today. As a result, the demand for competent, passionate user experience design has skyrocketed. Hi there, my name is Sharon Oye from Revato Tuts Plus, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an introduction to user experience design. We're going to cover what exactly user experience design is, what are the core components, what are some skills, processes, and so much more. Now, before we get into today's video, do not forget to check out Envato Element. With just one subscription, you get access to so many amazing digital assets, including really cool UI kits that you can use to speed up your design process. One subscription gives you access to millions of digital assets with an easy to use commercial license. Subscribe now with the link in the description below. Now, what exactly is user experience design? User experience design simply refers to processes and methodologies that teams use in order to create experiences for either digital products or physical products that are easy to understand, useful, and of course, delightful to interact with. Now, the goal of any user experience designer ultimately is to create these seamless experiences that users can use to achieve their goals and objectives while also keeping in mind business needs. User experience design as a discipline ultimately focuses on knowing, understanding, and catering to the needs of your users within your product through design. Now, what are some core areas of user experience design that you constantly need to have in mind? Now, the first core area of user experience design is usability. Simply put, usability aims to focus at how usable a product or service is. Now, one thing to always remember is that if a product is easy, users are more likely to come back. And if it's not, they're more likely to be frustrated and even speak badly about the product or service to other potential customers. So usability seeks to understand how easy it is for a customer to use your platform. And you can get this information by looking at data, by asking users questions, and just by observing how they interact with your products. The second core area of user experience experience design is visual design. Visual design ultimately looks at how your product or service looks. Is it appealing? Do users enjoy interacting with it? Now we have actually found that people of course enjoy things that look better and are more visually appealing. So this includes paying attention to colors, typography, and just the general look and feel of your product. Third core area is information architecture. This is mostly about how your content is arranged and ultimately presented to your users. If things are structured properly, then your users can get to point A and point B within your platform without getting too confused. If not, there might be high drop of points where a user gets frustrated trying to find certain things as a UX designer, it's your job to ensure that everything is laid out as clearly and as easily to navigate as possible. Fourth core area is interaction design. This ultimately refers to how everything really interacts with each other and how everything ultimately connects. The fifth core area is UX research. This is really just about getting to know and understand who your users or customers are. This can be done by carrying out things like user interviews, usability tests, and just different checkpoints to get to hear the voice of your users. Now let's talk about user experience design processes. User experience processes generally is just about the different steps that you take to solve user experience design problems. Now there are different processes out there such as design thinking, design sprints, double diamond approach, and so many more. However, typically the process of solving a UX design problem will include some of these steps in a non-linear manner. The first step in solving a UX design problem is usually to understand the problem and to be really sure that you fully understand what the key metrics are, the goals and the objectives, and of course, the problem that you are trying to solve. The second step is usually to also get to know your users. This is where user research really comes in, getting to understand who they are, what their own pain points are, and of course, how you can solve for them. The third step is ideation. And this is where you start doing some early stage designs, wireframes to kind of really give a life or picture to how you understand that these problems could possibly be solved. In this step, usually you tend to get a lot of feedback from your stakeholders and sometimes from users as well. Now, the next step 
is usually where you start creating a more solid prototype once you have decided on the direction based on the feedback from the previous step. And then the fifth step is usually usability testing, which would involve testing this prototype that you have just come up with to see what things you could have possibly missed and to see how well the user ultimately interacts with your preferred solution. Now the final step usually is where you start to iterate and use the feedback on from the previous step to make changes. As I mentioned, these processes happen most times in a non-linear manner and it's not always step by step. Now what are some required skills for UX designers? Now let's talk about the two different types of skills, which are your technical skills and your soft skills. So for your technical skills, you would usually need visual design skills, project management skills, presentation skills, some research skills, and some analytical skills. For your softer skills, user experience designers are expected to be curious, empathetic, and of course, be really good communicators. You are also expected to know how to collaborate well with others and keep everyone in the loop with some of the things that you are working on. Now let's talk about what user experience designers actually do. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what are some of the tasks and deliverables that are expected from UX designers within their day job. So of course, the first thing which is really common is designing wireframes as well as prototypes. So based on the information gotten and your understanding of the problem that you're trying to solve, you will then be expected to bring this to life, bring your solutions to life with clear and clean designs. These could be wireframes or higher fidelity prototypes, depending on where you are in the project and what is required of you. So the second thing that user experience designers do is create design systems as well as style guides. Now, these are just systems that are set in place to ensure consistency across the product. So ensuring that the usage of colors, typographies, grids, and components is similar all through the product. Third thing that user experience designers do is define flows and information architecture. So as we mentioned earlier, this is about the content and how it is structured. And as a user experience designer, you will be expected to define how everything ultimately interacts with each other and how the information is presented. These are usually presented in the forms of charts to stakeholders. Fourth thing you'll be expected to do is usability testing and some user experience research. So this ultimately involves testing your prototypes, seeing if there's areas for improvements, as well as finding more information about problems and about your users and of course how you can meet their needs and any pain points that they might be facing within the product. And lastly, sometimes you will be expected to organize and facilitate workshops in which you get feedback, ideas, suggestions from different stakeholders. These are also sometimes called design sprints. Now, how can you actually become a user experience designer? There are different ways to become a user experience designer and we're gonna cover three. The first way is through conventional education. This can take anywhere from one year to four years. Typically, people will get either a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in courses like user experience design, visual design, human computer interaction, and so on. The second way to get into user experience design is through boot camps. These usually are very intense, but take a shorter amount of time from as little as three months, sometimes six months, and even up to a year sometimes. These focus extremely on practical knowledge of user experience design and really can equip you to with all the knowledge that you need to start your career. Now the third way is through self-learning. It's not always the easiest and requires a lot of discipline but some people are able to study user experience design through the plethora of information that is available on the web and once they get to understand some of the core foundational concepts they're able to work on projects and start building up their portfolios by themselves. In conclusion user experience design is a really awesome profession that I would recommend to anyone. It has a lot of room for growth and you get to work on so many different types of exciting projects that have a visible impact on the world that we live in. So I wish you all the best in your journey to becoming a user experience designer. If this video was helpful, do not forget to leave a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel, and of course to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever new content is posted. Do not forget to check out Envato Elements for access to really cool digital design elements such as UI kits that you could really use to speed up your design process. If you are looking to learn more, why not look around and check some of the really, really awesome tutorials that Envato Tuts Plus has to offer. Thank you again so, so much for watching. My name is Sharon and see you later.